What's going on everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Bring you guys another Black Ops 2 video for you guys today. Today's honestly not that bad of a day, everybody, all right? We had a pretty good start to our day today. We woke up at like 12 o'clock, which is like two hours before that I normally wake up. Woke up to the sounds of a thunderstorm waking me up, and it was actually pretty nice. I don't know about you guys, but I love sleeping when there's like a thunderstorm. It kind of just puts me in a good mood and kind of just makes me calm. You guys are probably pretty mad at me because I said I woke up at 12 p.m. And I know most of the people in the comments are like, wow, dude, he woke up at 12 p.m. when I have to get up at 6 a.m for school listen i know your struggle i know your pain i can feel it in my heart all right i went through that same thing back when i was in high school too honestly i kind of feel more bad for myself for waking up at 12 p.m like that is a pretty unhealthy sleep schedule to be sleeping on like i went to bed at like 5 a.m last night what the my man my guy you're a homie bro i respect that that free kill? You never go wrong with a free kill, you know what I mean? I've been going to sleep at like 5 a.m. for the last two nights, guys. It's pretty bad. I've been waking up at like noon. I'm actually trying to wake up a little bit earlier, but the thing that's keeping me up all night is the SpongeBob episodes. I don't know about you guys, but I surf YouTube so much. I actually caught myself watching a SpongeBob live stream last night. I was watching some new episodes, and I could definitely tell that the show has changed so much. It's so weird now. Like, it's actually like in HD. Like, when I was growing up as a little kid, I used to watch SpongeBob all the time. You guys could probably already tell that I'm a huge SpongeBob fan just because. I use the background music in all of my videos but like the new episodes are just so weird like they just don't give me that same vibe like I guess it's just not as nostalgic because they're new but like Spongebob is like HD now and like all the characters are just so much more different looking I don't know if that makes any sense like even the mannerisms and the way they act is kind of different too maybe I'm just so used to the old classic Spongebob I haven't really given a chance for the new one but I still do like it though like the jokes are still like the same type of humor it still has some like low-key dark humor which I kind of like about that you don't really notice too many of the adult humor jokes in that show until you actually get a little bit older honestly though for how long the show has been aired since like what 1999 1998 it did a pretty good job at keeping the characters pretty much the same usually when a show airs for so long the characters kind of get diluted and just kind of boring and lame like for example the walking dead i used to love the walking dead like when it first came out i was binge watching that shit all day nowadays the characters are just so lame the show is way too over dramatic there's not as much action as there used to be i don't really know i just lost so much touch for that show i completely stopped watching it but i'm just really glad that spongebob has stuck to their roots and hasn't really changed much Three piece? Yep, I fucked that up. Oh, that was so close. That would have been a little nice little clipper, Rooney. Oh, what? Did I hit? I hit. <laughs> that wasn't even that crazy, but whatever, I'll take it. There it is. Yup, it was a barrel stuff, but whatever. I mean, the guys are happy in the lobby. I gotta talk to my friends here, all right? Where's my mic? I was looking for my mic and it's all around my neck. Howdy! What's up, guys? Sorry about that garbage shot. Yo, what? Is my dude good over there? Hey, be quiet, let's hear him. <laughs> Yo, are, are you okay, man? Actually crying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> crying. Who's crying, dude? Yo. Oh, formula, that was a sick shot, bro. Like, <laughs> you hit on me. Are we in your video? <laughs> are you are you crying because I hit on you? Crying of joy. Is this true? Yeah, hold on. Formula. <laughs> formula. 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 Are we gonna be in a video? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hold up. Yo, guys, my man over there is is happy over there. I feel I feel the luck in this lobby, guys. We're we're gonna hit back to back right here. He hit back to back. I thought it was a JTAG. Nah, not anymore, guys. I'm not cool enough to be JTAG. Do you ever get annoyed whenever like get into the lobby and everybody starts screaming? Nah, I don't really care. Cause I, some YouTubers it gets annoying. Too. Well, they're assholes. That's fucked up. Honestly, if you're a YouTuber and like. You get mad when your fans like scream at you, like that's that's so stupid, honestly. Like, yeah, I know. That's no. I was just I was telling everybody to chill out so we could like see if you were gonna plug in your mind. No, I honestly, dude, like like I have my idols too. You know what I mean? Yo, listen, we gotta hit back to back. We gotta make this the most lit video ever. All right, yo, I'm gonna hit with the XPR. Do you get a lot of hit markers with the XPR? Hey, Foreman, whenever you whenever you started your shot, did you play did you play stretch or call? I always play claw. Listen, have you guys ever heard of the Rolex shot? One day someone's gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit the Rolex shot here. No, no, no. Shit. Oh, the Rolex shot? Oh, I've been oh my god, I almost hit. 
All right, here we go, boys. Come on, we gotta hit. All of us gotta work together. We gotta work together to hit a shot, guys. Come on, we got this. Hey, Red Formio, can, can you do you your intro? Yeah. You want oh. me to do my intro? Oh no. Ah, the good old live intro. What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Bring you guys another Black Ops 2 video for you guys today. Oh my god. Oh, bro, that's so sick. A live intro. So it's like the best intro no, ever, right? As long as it's better than Red Kiwi's intro, then we're good to go. You know what I mean? Strap up the Rolex, boys. Basically a UAV cancel. Or a UAV, yeah. You need a UAV, and then all you gotta do is just cancel in midair. That's okay. it. It's a pretty good lobby we got ourselves into here. It's always nice when I can just get into a chill lobby and just chill and talk to fans and have a good time. A lot of the times when we get into lobbies, like, you guys say that I made your day just for playing together, and that's pretty awesome that you guys feel that way. Like, it truly means a lot to me. And honestly, you guys make my day when I hear that kind of reaction from you guys because it's so flattering that you guys love to watch my videos and support me and it's just so awesome that you guys care so much about me and everybody in the red house like honestly that really warms my heart every time you guys give me some good feedback or just even talk to me in games but i've been trying to go for a trick shot with the acog class i know that doesn't sound like the best idea but honestly i just wanted to give it a try see what it's like i saw my man carl go for a couple acog class shots it seemed kind of cool especially because you could put an acog on the crossbow it's kind of like a dual acog shot i don't know i think it's pretty neat or even a shot with like the xpr like that would be pretty sick but the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about is this movie that me and kiwi actually ended up seeing it was called notorious it's a movie about biggie smalls notorious big you guys probably know him as like one of the most legendary rappers of all time my man kiwi has been listening to 90s rap a lot recently he kind of got me into it so we decided to watch this movie about big and it's actually pretty interesting you guys are into 90s rapper huge fans of biggie smalls i definitely recommend checking it out there's something about 90s beats that are just so much more beats than like beats nowadays i don't know it's just so much more classic and like authentic i don't know if that makes any sense but they just feel so much more like i don't know i don't even know what's the right word you guys could probably tell me that all right we got the xpr we're gonna go for a trick shot on magma oh my god can you just imagine if someone was just right there at the right time if you oh what well kind of close range though he hit me it was kind of close range though but Yep. Nice. I think that was my second time hitting on this map. There it is. The magma trick shot. It's back. Get out of my room. Oh, I knew I knew that's red formula. He's throwing the sticky grenade. Yo, listen, I got this class off of Nick, so anything you should be mad at him. I feel like the Rolex shot is gonna happen this game. I don't know. Maybe. Make sure you guys got that UAV on. Oh bro, I thought you just hit on me, man. Oh, I hit the Rolex shot! I hit the Rolex shot! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Yeet! Oh, let's go! The Rolex! There it is! The Rolex shot! Let's go, boys! Dude, I hit three shots today. What? Dude, I called that too. Yo, that is so weird. I called that I was gonna hit the Rolex shot and I hit it. What? Yo, I'm telling you guys, the Rolex lock is there. I think so. Yeah, me and Nick were trying to go for it and I guess I hit it first. I mean, I wish I got more distance on it, but hey, 1080 fam. You know what I mean? Yo, Slayer face. I'm a huge fan of that emblem you got there. <laughs> what is that? I hit the. Yo, yo, Nick. Yo, 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 yo. yo. They hear you. <laughs> What's good, little boy? I, I hit the. I, I hit the 1080 Rolex. No way. What's crack lacking, my little Nick? Or is I hope you guys are having a great day. No. <laughs> there it is. Oh I don't, <laughs> I'm just what? I hit three <laughs> shots, fam. Uh, I may be five and five, but I'm hitting though. You know what I mean? Who the hell is at 17? Dude, that kid Slayer face, he's a psycho. He gets to last in like two seconds. Like by the time you pick your class, he's already at last. This kid's a psycho. Oh my god. What, what, what was that? Yo, you already know I'm rocking the Cat 40, fam. Dude, this thing, I get more kills with the Cat 40 than the DSR. Like, dude, that guy's already at last. That guy's already at last. How? Yo, Slayer Face, my man, you wanna like log into my account and get me to last, fam? Yeah, he also told us the three rules that he made. Three rules, Nick. Three rules. Rule number one. You don't throw shock charges. That's, oh, yeah. You yes. don't throw shot. They kill last. They get more one shots than my DSR. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yup. The shock charges are very low key. You, you can't mess with the shock charges. Rule number two: You don't shoot out ammo when you're going for trick shots. Yup. You, you're bound to kill. You know how many times I've seen a, the Remington Monty nag yep. hit on a, yep. other kids? 
It's it always happens. And then my favorite rule number three: don't knife insta swap. You well, don't do it. That, you see, that's the only rule that I'm gonna have to disagree with you on. When, when you're all up top on the top takeoff or studio <laughs> yep. shot, the studio ladder. Yep. Swish, and then you just <laughs> there it is. That's the end of the game. <laughs> Back to pregame, man. <laughs> Bro, you already yeah. know I won't. Yup, that's. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, the potential. Oh, the globe. Oh my. Oh, I got a tomahawk? Oh, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> In the trash. In the trash it goes, everybody. Oh, man. Ow! Oh, Ow! The Nick! Oh, oh the rage. The rage, dog. Bro, I'm even here. What happened? I'm even here, dog. Get markered. What? What? <laughs> what? Like, where does that go? Nardy FM? Like, what? <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. I hit three shots in one day. That was pretty awesome. I know two of the shots weren't that crazy, but it was on Magma, which is kind of a garbage map, and it was a little better than the first Magma shot I hit. Vertigo shot was also pretty close range, and the kid did end up crying, so that was pretty... Pretty emotional right there, guys. And then last but not least, I hit the Rolex shot. If you guys don't know what the Rolex shot is, it's a shot me and Nick were trying to go for where you pull out your UAV in midair or your counter UAV and you hit a trick shot. We call it a Rolex just because it's like a brand of watches and it kind of looks like you're pulling out a watch to check the time. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm trying my ass off to grow this channel, guys. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. Also, remember to use my code for all X Gamer purchases. Use code FORMULA. You guys will save 10% off. But anyway, it's been your boy Alex. I'll send in this formula. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. That's Yeah.